Hello there everybody and it's Sally here with Tuesday Teaching Tips and today I'm just going to be thinking a little bit out loud about the importance of finding the right repertoire for all our students to learn. Um, and this was triggered really by a comment from one of the, my piano parents yesterday when I was teaching and um, her son, in fact I've got two boys um, both have different different parents um, two boys who go to the same school and the school has got a, a music festival coming up at the end of the month and both the boys are preparing some pieces and the pieces are quite um, I look very carefully to find pieces to make sure that um, they're really kind of very musical and expressive pieces and these both both these pieces do exactly that and the boys are just loving playing them they're not fast they're not furious they're not you know what you might turn boy like even but actually they're they're really rather reflective and very expressive indeed anyhow they are really enjoying doing these pieces and uh, the mum said to me now the reason why he's decided to take part in this festival is he heard some of his peers play and he realized actually he was making music as opposed to them and the term that she used um, was plonking, who were plonking. And um, not a good thing to do, I, I think you agree. If you're gonna play the piano, you don't want to plonk, whatever you do. And certainly with the piece he's doing, he is not plonking. What it's doing is allowing him to be an artist, actually. It's allowing him to be creative in making sounds and creating a whole new little sound world. So I think it's really important that we look for repertoire that we know is going to unblock their motivation. Now, I've been talking a lot about this recently, that we all are motivated. Motivation comes as standard within us. Um, but what happens is that blockages get in the way of this natural motivation. And there's lots of things that can get in the way. Um, but certainly for us as teachers, one of the things that can really block is, is putting the right um, putting the right repertoire in front of a pupil for them to learn. Get the right repertoire, and I know you've all experienced this, and they're off like a shot, aren't they? The wrong repertoire, and it sort of drags on for weeks and weeks and weeks without really anything making any progress. So finding the right repertoire will really help to unblock motivation. And I think often with our, our younger teenagers in particular, this is finding repertoire in a style that they know and understand that allows them, as I've said with this one pupil already, to be creative and to be artistic. So we want music to touch them, we want it to touch their soul, so they kind of feel that they are um, more than just themselves. I know that's all sounding a bit high, high, but that's where music takes you, it takes you to beyond yourself. Now, if it doesn't do that to them, if it's in a style or a genre that they feel is a long, long way, then it just becomes a little bit of note playing, doesn't it? Um, as this mum said, a bit of plonking. So it's really important, I think, that we find music that is actually quite close to where they are in their, in their own repertoire style and genre and what they're listening to. Now, the important thing, though, to remember is that that doesn't mean to say we can't extend them out of that comfort zone into a style and genre that they are currently not familiar with. In fact, I think it's much easier to do it if you can take them from a place they already know. So let me tell you about another of my pupils. And um, this is a young, a young girl who is now um, in her mid-teens. I suppose for the last 18 months, we've been playing with various bits of repertoire, but very much in a style that she is familiar with and she's been happy with and really, really enjoyed learning. And now, um, in the last six months, she's discovered Baroque music. And she's playing a beautiful little jig by um, Richard Jones with lovely articulation and it's sprightly. And she really has got um, a, a sense of ownership of this piece of music. But I think we've got there through playing the repertoire that she knows. Yeah, I think because she's learnt about that expressive quality through her repertoire, she's now be able to move on. So that's my top, top tip for today. Make sure that your teaching repertoire is really carefully chosen to engage the artistic and the musical and the creative souls of your pupils, because then you can unlock the door to all the other beautiful music that is around for them. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, bye for now.